Van Adventure! Let's go! Well, we're new driving here in Club. We're trying to figure out what this sign is. It looks, Emily thinks it's a droopy eyed guy. I think it's just a guy with droopy eyes. But I'm guessing it has to do with your headlights on or headlights off. It's probably your headlights. Yeah. Well, but it does look like a sleepy guy. We decided just to chill here at the beach, not too far from Cartagena. So we got the first meal down back in the van. I made a nice big salad with carrots, cucumber, peppers, avocado, tomato, hummus, lettuce, a little bit of tofu burger, and then a leftover falafel. So yeah, we've got nice protein packed, healthy salad. Ah, it feels good to be back in the van. Oh, it's so comfy in here. This dog is a happy girl. This cat is a happy boy. Look at that smile. Our first spot in Colombia. And dang, it's a beaut. I think I want to climb up on these rocks over here. This is pretty cool. Somebody does love and playing with the waves. Definitely a much needed outdoor time after spending so long in the hotels and hostels. Vamos! Yeah, so this is the Juan Mar Hotel. Wow, what do you think? So the price is to use the pool, the bathrooms, the showers, and we'll park out front. <laughs> Wi-Fi too. Wi-Fi, okay. Yeah. And here's a sweet like roof bar at this hotel here. And I should say the price was $5 for both of us. Yeah, $10,000 a person. $10,000 is $250. $2.50 US. So we're loving Colombia. a little walk over up on this cool looking hill over here. Yeah, I was thinking that I wanted to walk over there. Let's do it. <laughs> wow, I really found some new shoes, huh? Kind of sketchy, babe. <laughs> the what? Well, went up there. That part looks yeah. like it would just fall off any second. Yeah. Sombrita. And what's the other dog's name? I named her Tina. Tina for quarantina. I like that. <laughs> Buena chica. Oh yeah, that looks like a healthy dog to me. No street dog there. Last night, I mean, right now, <laughs> I'm pretty tired. These uh, police just woke me up and he says, oh, well, first off, 
I don't appreciate that the police just woke us up because we paid to be here and it just scared us. Because you know, the so just starts barking like crazy. Buena chica. And we just didn't know what was going on. Yeah, it really scared me, but you know, we took a while to, to open the door. I think that's always kind of good, kind of make them wait. You know, we were looking for a mask, you know. So Emily passed me a mask, I put it on, they're shining the light in the window. And I said to him, uh, Estuve durmiendo, ¿qué pasa? I was sleeping, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and he says, are you staying with the hotel? I said, yeah, we paid them. The other one says, park well. You want me to move closer to the hotel? It's like, we're really like 15 feet away from it. I was like, you want me to move? He said, no, you're fine here. I'm like, why did you wake me up, man? <laughs> oh my God. It's our first night sleeping in the van. Good night. We were going to head right to the mountains when we got to Columbia, but we decided we better check out this whole part of the country before we never come back. Oh wow, it's hot. I just found out another new thing about Colombia. So whenever I was buying some pet food, I was asked by the cashier if I wanted a quota and I really didn't understand what she was talking about. I was like, is this like a tax thing? And I was like, oh, I don't think I need that. Like, it's okay. And she's like, well, I have to put something. And I was like, I don't know, so I let her do it and I said, sorry, I'll ask my husband what he thinks it is, maybe he knows. I just looked it up and it's actually like a credit system. It doesn't work with US credit cards, but for Colombian cards, it's basically like a layaway that you can automatically do for any kind of goods. So it's kind of cool that, I guess this is like a system that has been going on since, since people were only shopping in markets. So it's pretty funny that like, this is the, a really ancient system that they're still using here in Colombia. If anybody asks you if you want a quota, just say one. Wow, so this is my second Colombian skate park. Epic, you don't see anything like this in Panama. Wow, this is really good. Even Costa Rica, this is, yeah, isn't this sick? Although the word sick has fallen out of favor due to the global pandemic. We found some elote ribs. They cut these corn cobs to mimic the feeling of eating a rib. I've only seen them on Instagram until this place, Ramona in Barranquilla. And what's it taste like? Elotes, but it's smoked, so it has a really good smoky flavor. Uh, and they keep giving us treats for the dog. It's yeah. really cool to see a good vegan place like this. Oh man, this is deep. Yeah! We're crossing. Wait. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What? Are we back in Panama? We just crossed the ocean. Don't worry, it's not seawater. It's definitely fresh water. Ah, but where we're going right now is a river that naturally flows at six and a half miles an hour. Very fast. And when it rains, it flows even more. So this could be kind of interesting. That's a big worm. This is some rain here. Holy. Yeah, this rain has been really nice to actually cool off, take a nap. I think it's down to 75 degrees here, where we'd normally be in the 90s. Whoa, watch out, that's a big river. I'm gonna fall in there. This, so this river is a mile wide, and since it's raining, it's like way ragier than usual. Yeah. So everything's moving super fast, but it's like a, an enormous river that lets out in Barranquilla from the, from the mountains. Yeah, this is a major drainage for this state. This is a huge river. And actually the shipping port is up this river. So the big boats come in here. But yeah, you can see just these islands of vegetation just mobbing out to sea. This is a really impressive river here in Barranquilla. This is the Magdalena River. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of a restaurant area and such here. There, it looked like there would be a really cool bike path if um, if you wanted to do that, but it is raining pretty hard, so probably can't go for a bike ride tonight. right now. Probably get super wet. the Magdalena River. Huge bridge. Wow, that's a pretty bridge. It looks like that bridge um, in Panama. Oh, Puente Centenario over Puente the canal. Puente Centenario, that's right. Yeah, I think cruise, I mean, uh, shipping boats must go underneath here because over there is like a refinery. And we just passed a whole bunch of slums, like an enormous slum. It's kind of sad. There is a lot, a lot of garbage. Doesn't look like the can the uh, neighborhood, the government are helping clean up garbage because it's all just flowing into the river, which is really, really sad. This enormous river is probably just packed full of plastic bags on the bottom, and in be in between all of the plastic bags, there are a bunch of like cranes and beautiful birds, and like it's just insane that they all have to live with that. Well, that's aligns with what I've heard about this area. This is like the most dangerous part. Down by Cali also, but apparently this area we're passing through right now, it's pretty dangerous. Oh, the promised land! Look at these mountains! Yay! Oh, we haven't been to mountains since Bolguete in Panama. There's actually glaciers up there. So how's it feel your first time driving in Colombia? Potholes. So. Yeah, this part is supposed to be pretty dangerous and it looks very, very poor. This is the most slum I've ever seen. Right? Just, I mean, the amount of garbage is more than normal, but we've seen places like this. No, I think that this, these are a lot worse than ones in Central America. You see the kids in the USA and they all got a phone and they're all just sitting doing nothing. And they look sad, you know? And you come to a, a place like this, which doesn't really have any money, and the kids are happy. They're all playing, there's a community, they're smiling. It's a double-edged sword wealth. Oh, that soccer field is completely underwater. But a nice playground and another soccer field there that's higher up. We're postulating that the sea level rise has affected this community pretty harshly. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the streets are underwater. Wow. Yeah, I think we're coming out of the unsafe area, but this town is literally named Swamp. <laughs> Cienaga. <That's right. laughs> but yeah, this is looking less, less poor. We're driving to our campsite here and the road is so cute, it's so tiny. It was a little adventurous coming in off of the main road onto this road. here in Minka, the climate is really, really fresh and such a good break from that hot, hot beach. <laughs> yeah, we're having brekkie here and made some nice uh, breakfast tacos and was eating the bowl edition. <laughs> <laughs> but last night we were hanging out here at this mirror door and the people invited us to go play Ultimate Frisbee. It was like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. 
Well, I guess it's cooler at night, so mm -hmm. it makes sense now that I think about it, but. So Emily said yes, and I thought, oh, okay. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Emily had never played Ultimate Frisbee. It's pretty wild. It's really fun. It yeah. was really, really fun, yeah. Yeah, I looked at my pedometer after the fact, and we ran like two miles. Yeah, it was really good. I'm pretty sure we tied in the end, both teams. Really nice to be invited by the locals to, to hang out, you know, so. Yeah. We're really loving this high altitude spot here. Oh, it's so great. And we're probably just gonna hang out today, yeah. And yeah, we'll try and, we're gonna try and figure out how to go backpacking over here. Yeah. We wanna head up to do, yeah, up a mountain. How much did this place cost? This place, was, he wanted 20000 each, and I haggled down to fifteen, so that's 30000 total. So I'd say Maybe about seven bucks. Yeah, seven or eight bucks a night, and uh, great view. Wow. Cool people, cool vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, there's showers, bathrooms. There's also a hostel here. Whoa, Emily, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> These are some beautiful little salads. They're big salads. <laughs> no, they're, yeah, yeah, they're pretty true. salads. Wow, thanks for making me awesome food in the van always. No problem. <laughs> I also get to eat it, so I'm stoked. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm super stoked. And I was just chatting it up with the pizzeria owner here, super cool guy. But they have this weird bug. Got a crazy shot at it. And apparently, if this bug touches you, it's really bad. And what happened to the guy was it crawled into his shoe. No! And so he didn't know he put his foot in there. He had a gash like that long that he said he had to put antibiotics and stuff. And those pokey things on it will get stuck in you. And oh hard to God. Get I'm glad, I left, I'm glad I moved the dog away from it because she was like, Oh my God. Walking over to it and I was like, no, leave that alone. Crazy bug. I was like, what? Oops. Buenos dias. We're going for a walk here with Sombrita. So what's up for today? We're gonna move spots. Yeah, let's head farther up into the mountains and find some nice peace and seclusion. This is about 2,600 feet and we're headed up to like 5,200 feet. A mile high here in the mountains by the sea of Colombia. So we found a free potable water source here in La Minca. Yeah, this is at a Panaderia Miga. Yes, it's at the Panaderia La Miga. You wanna go show them the inside? Now we're heading up from the town of Minca, which is already pretty high up, nice cool temps. But we're headed up to what they call the Y, or in Spanish, La J. <laughs> And that's where we can start the hike to get up this mountain, Cerro Kennedy, and hopefully sleep up there. But also the road continues on from there now, Pabe. This is a recent thing. And it goes another 10 kilometers to a place called La Tagua. And there the road pavement ends. Okay, we're coming up on the warning part on IO. So What's the warning? That the road deteriorates. <laughs> the road deteriorates on IO right here. So I guess when we're around this corner, we'll see how good this road is. It's deteriorating. Ooh, still looks good. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Nice. Heck yeah. This road is actually a new road. And as you can see with all the rain before, it must have been so muddy. And probably not very passable as quickly as we've already done it. We've gotten up here in about 15 minutes and with the muddiness of the old road, it probably would have taken like two hours and we would have had to have a four wheel drive car, which we do not have. But we're really lucky to be finding this place after, right after the road has been completed. Oh man, it looks like the road is flooded now. Okay. Is it? Yeah, it's the whole road. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Wow. I thought there was a 
there. <laughs> Looks like the road's a little bit flooded again. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at it up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh my. <laughs> I think we harmonized, but that's a, so that like was pretty crazy actually. Maybe <laughs> this park. Yeah, we need to stop. It's like 200 more meters. Okay. What? I can't wait until these clouds move. We'll see what we're up in. Yeah. By the way, it's 64 degrees. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy at 64 degrees. It was too hot at the beach. It's really insane with the van that we can be in a situation that's just so uncomfortable and just say, oh, let's just drive to the mountains. Uh, yeah. When there are mountains, it's pretty it's pretty great. Well, first thing that we've seen in quite a long time. So this is the place, this is the bar that we might be able to stay. This is the road here that we will be hiking up to Cerro Kennedy potentially, if we can get some good weather. Yeah, that road does not look like our van kind of road, huh? Yeah, no, I think that's way too hard for us. Maybe we'll have to go farther. <laughs> Got some trees in the road here. So heroic Danny's gonna, oops, move them for us. And now there's a bunch of motorcyclists, which I'm sure would be happy that Danny's moving these trees. So we found a really nice spot here up in the mountains. Great view out the windows. Nice cold weather. So cold that Emily even made us a soup. Yes. Cold weather food, eh, baby? Yeah, I love cold weather. I'm so happy to be back in the, some cool weather. <laughs> Me too. And some nice views. So we're out for a little walk right next to the van. Just checking out our surroundings. A cute little family living down the road a little bit. Um, there's a couple four-wheel drive cars going up the hill to, on the route that we wanted to take to Soto Kennedy. Yeah, we're just enjoying our time here the rest of the day. Enjoy wearing the cold. Coats. Yeah, oh, it feels so good to be wearing a coat. Oh, Graham's turn. Where to, buddy? <laughs> All he ever really wants to do is nibble on grass. I guess he didn't have to go far this time. <laughs> Good boy, Grammy. Morning coffee up here in the mountains, right next to a coffee plantation. Look at this, these are coffee beans. They're best grown high elevation, and a lot of times that's on a steep hillside because that's what they got here for high elevation. Nice having our our coffee, and Emily's making these cute little pancakes. <laughs> Dang, this spot has been awesome for being getting some work in, being up here in the mountains, not being hot. Oh, feels so good. I'm like, I'm like a little cold in my tank top right now, but I just am enjoying the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only slightly worried that it'll not be this good weather when we decide to do the hike. Yeah. Cause today has been just really sunny, nice weather all day. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we'll see what we get. And if you check out the video where on my birthday, we climbed to this epic hot springs inside of a volcanic crater in Mexico. It did rain on us and we were fine, you know, so yeah. we'll, we'll be okay. Do what we did then and and bring some cards or... <laughs> but we're probably gonna take the cat, right? 
Yeah, I'd like to take the cat this time, see how he does in the tent. So if it starts raining with him, that might be a little more special, but yeah. you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so just... we'll see you guys then.